Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to RimWorld. Well, lots has happened, as always. Um, it's winter, as you can see. We're doing fine. There's four of us now. Lou joined as a wanderer. Watson joined as a wanderer. And Michael, we had... Avro had a long duel with when she was here alone. He came to attack. And he shot her in the hand in the end, but she shot him up bad, and she hit him in the kidney. He went down. She saved him. Watson finally talked him around. And now, after quite some more time has passed, they are uh, living as a couple. Happy as clams. We're digging an extra bedroom. Well, actually, looks like we got it dug. I'm uh, just finishing off the power cabling to it. Digging an extra bedroom because, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, I've got the roof on it. I don't need to check. Because, 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 yeah, what if they break up? So, we're not ready to expand the colony a lot more. I'm kind of hoping we don't get a lot of wanderer joins or something. It tends to slam you with them in an early game. What are you doing, bud? Cleaning rock rubble. Okay, Watson, you can totally go back to your regular work because you're obviously on janitor mode here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that's just fine. Willie Watson to his cleaning. He'll finish that and then go back to something else. Let's see what he chooses to do now. So he's cutting stone blocks from trunk. Great, we need that. So yeah, updates to the interior. More dining space. Uh, there's our research butchers. Uh, we got a drug lab in. We know how to make panoxycycline, but not medicine. So we're researching medicine as fast as we can. And a sculptor's table. Rocking away with a few sculptures. I think we've finished the sculpting bill. I think we'll just possibly add a few sculptures to it. Let's go for 16 of the things. Uh, we're putting some up. I mean, we're putting them in rooms as well. So, yay. There goes Michael banging on a sculpture. Good stuff. He should be bloody researching. Uh, work Michael. Just start researching again. Be a good lad. I'm not doing a lot with their work priorities. Not like I used to be. I used to be all tuny mooney with them, but I'm kind of letting the game make a lot of the decisions. It seems like everything's improved in that department. Storeroom's dug out nice and big. Gonna get this light powered in a minute. Um, vein of steel here. We left it because it makes such good armor. You know, it's tough. We found two veins of steel over here and nailed them just as the snow started to fall. We were hauling out the last of it, and also these rhinoceroses started hanging around and acting weird. We didn't like that. Uh, I didn't actually realize till this exact second that there was a geotherm right outside our base. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. So our power system, which has gone up to two solars now, we seem to be holding. We seem to be holding. Yeah, so we got that wired up now. We're getting dressers in. We're making it nice. Now we went with uh, limestone dresser, limestone sculpture, granite dresser, granite sculpture, limestone dresser, limestone sculpture. I don't know if that's going to look bad. If it does, I'll fix it. But we didn't have a good um, limestone sculpture to put in, so whatevs. We can make stuff match later. It's not a big freaking deal. Don't know if we have the wood to build a bed. Yeah, we do actually. So let's go ahead and build a copy of this bed in here. Now that's a huge, huge room. I think I overdid that. TBH. It's a little bigger than it needs to be. Well, we'll put a bed in it. It's got a heater, which we are going to bring down to our standard base temperature of 18. Seems like a good one. That's not our tame rabbit. We have a tame rabbit. It tamed itself. Oop, autosave. There it is. Uh, we have given it an animal area limited to just the base so it doesn't get hit by a predator. So it's stuck in the base. It can go in the freezer and eat what it wants. And it has a bed. We have a nice little plain leather animal bed for it right there. Kitchen's holding 18 at negative 3. I had to add a cooler to this beastie mess. So we've got these set to negative 2. They'll kick in when it gets up there. And this one's set to negative 23, doing its best to keep it cold at night, blah, blah. It's working. And we built our hospital. We researched sterile tile. We built our hospital. We've harvested 12 herbal meds from our patch. Good things. We're getting long meds. We've got two granite beds in there because that's what we had handy and uh, it seemed like a good use for them, frankly. No point putting good furniture to waste. Everyone's getting disturbed sleep during all this bloody construction, I'm sure. I suppose we ought to put a dresser in there, but 
Well, let's we'll see if we get a good granite sculpture off. Granite, granite, normal, 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 normal. I just want to put good ones in, right? I mean, they're not, they don't have to be brilliant or anything. This one's just stupid, I think. It's a mouse wearing a baseball cap, actually. I secretly like it. I secretly like it. But, um, yeah, we're here doing this fast review. This is the progress we've made. Avro's done a ton of hunting. Let's see how her shooting skill's getting. So, file. She's up to 8 and well into 8. So she'll hold 8 for a while because we don't want her hunting for a while. She got a, an inspiration that... Oh. Oh, no, there's boomalopes here. Nah. Um, she got a, an inspiration that boosted her move speed for like eight days or some damn thing. It was amazing. So we put her on hunting for the whole time. And she brought home loads of meat and loads of leather. We got 271 plain leather left. We only harvested a deeny amount of cotton, unfortunately. What's this? Cloth bowler hat, 463. I don't even know where that came from, dude. That's starting to be such a powerful base. I don't know where everything came from. So we've got our bill set on the tailoring unit to three parkas, three pants, three t-shirts, uh, one duster, and five cowboy hats. Maybe we'll go ahead and make three dusters. And let that, that'll give Watson something interesting to do, because he's our main crafter. And I think that's a good idea. So yeah, quick review. Winter. The toxic fallout killed all the animals, but they've started to come back, which is great, so we got hunting in. And we're just here running time at high speed, although not too high, because, you know, scaredy me. Um, in the hopes that something terrible happens. In fact, we'll just turn it up to full power speed. We'll watch Watson Taylor away. How's he doing on his skills with that Ooh, autosave? Crafting at 8, and just getting well into 8, so great. Doing well. Lou, Michael, and Avro are sleeping. Watson is our night owl, and thankfully we set his things. Okay, so we've got no solar and wind at full, and we've got excess of 1,300 watts. I'd like to see a little bit more than that, but uh, that's great. Yeah, our batteries are doing fine. We do have machine breakdowns now. We've got 56 components. We've been able to mine some. We haven't had to buy any yet. There's no more that we've found that are close by. We found some in here. We, uh, Where is it? There's a piece of wall. Yeah, there was a block of components right there, so that was nice. And there are some more sitting here. A little bit of them right there. So we can run out and grab those at any time. We possibly should, but... Uh, I think we'll wait for spring. Oh, bandit camp quest. We're not going on any quests yet. Just not even going to read it because, uh, yeah, we could go do something really exciting and use our skills. But uh, I think it's actually running really jerky on three and they might be wrecking the recording. Kaboomalopes, bloody things. Let's just check the info on it. Engineered for chemicals production, the boomlobe grows a large sack of volatile chemicals on its back. Th though it is weak and fragile for its size, other animals have learned to avoid it because of the huge explosion it produces when it dies. It can be milked to produce chem fuel very carefully. Oh, that's new. That's cool. That's really cool. I'll just save on that, you know. It's like, save on anything. Oh, so if we did tame a couple of the little... How's their food in all this cold? Oh, you can't check the needs of non-tame animals. We could try to tame more rabbits and start breeding them, but, you know, that could start using up a lot of grain. They don't eat much. If you check his needs, look at this tiny little food bar. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think we're going to breed anything just yet. I mean, here we are living mostly in one room. We do have bedrooms now, though, which is really nice, but we don't have a dining room or a real work room. Uh, as we get a little more technology, I'm going to want to establish a, m like a more like electrical and steel seeming workroom. Like this is our wood and stone workroom. It may stay this way for the duration of this colony. We are going to try to build a ship with this one, I think. Um, but it's only going to be for Afro. She's the leader. She's shown them all the way. She's the one who did this. She's the one who's going to go home and write a book about it back on her home world and be like, 600 years ago by this world's time, 
I stranded myself on a distant rim world. And she's going to become a huge success at like age 54 or something, because we're going to make sure she gets in there and has enough time left in her awesome little life because she's awesome and she'll learn to write a book fast enough. What the heck is she doing researching? And Michael's doing this. Michael's on research 2, Abra's on research 3, and she only has 5 skill. Michael has 12 skill. Why, sir? Well, let's check his bio on art. He's got 8 art. Well, we'll let him go ahead. Doesn't matter. Oh, no, Lou's... Wait, was it Lou the whole time? Or what's wrong with me here? Uh, what the hell? She's on research 4. Well, then that's fine. Well, at least it's going to get done. We must have very little for them to do right now. We haven't set up any projects, right? Oh, and we've got an idle colonist on and off. So, yeah, we need to set projects. So, on that note, we'll bid you guys farewell. We'll see you all very soon with the next developments. I really wish something bad had happened. I'm, like, on the, on the other colony, I let myself touch dev mode now and then to bring in trade. This one I'm not. I'm not doing anything. We're just surviving. It's perfect. We're having fun. And we're on difficulty three, I think. Let's see here. Menu options. Because it has been awful. I think I did set it on three. It's been fucking brutal. Oh, pardon my language. It's been brutal. We're on Connie Chillax medium. Yeah, so. Yeah. I like Connie Chillax. What can I say? Randy Random seems to give you a more interesting play in some ways. But Wait, what? Oh, they're just moving together. I thought the Kaboomalo had eaten the turkey and was dragging it away. That's insane. Here's our hair. Is it cold? No. How much temperature can it handle? Oh, it can take negative 30, the little demon. It's not going to have a problem. And it's got lots to eat, because there's no real food out here for it. So It's good. It's got lots to eat. And it's not a very dirty animal either, so, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I can't believe I'd ever actually want to get raided. Well, geothermal sure sounds tempting. That'd be a nice swatch of power. We could run a hydroponics operation off it if we knew how to do hydroponics. We don't. Anyway, guys, we will see you all very soon for the next bit of the... I don't know, it was going to be like the reaching arm trading post or something because of the resemblance to a weird human here. But instead, it's just Avro's trading post. Hope you guys had fun here. See you soon. Bye for now.